What's up guys, Mark Versteiner here with Android Police. Had to enunciate that one because Artem's been complaining about how fast I say my name. Well, I wanna talk about Android Wear for a little while. Android Wear is one of these things that I, I feel a very strong love and hate for. Love because it has halfway sort of delivered on what I needed and expected out of wearables, but hate because it hasn't really quite delivered on what Google promised wearables would be. Wear came out back in 2014, so that's two years ago now, and we are still basically working with the same UI. Ultimately, it's great for Google Now on your wrist and glanceable information. That, they totally rock out of the park, and I think it's better than Watch OS from that perspective. I really like lifting up my wrist, seeing this particular watch face, Corona Sunlight. It's just an enormous amount of information. You know how I feel about my information density. And then at a glance, it's really easy to be able to see messages I've gotten, calendar events that are coming up, you know, something that hit my simple account. Really great for at a glance information. Plus, it's also really good for hands-free operation. When you're driving, I can send a Hangouts message to my wife without touching my phone or my watch for that matter. That part of it works really, really well. But when you go back and watch some of the promotional material and think about a little bit what we were told that Android Wear would be able to support, it becomes really, really clear that third-party developers just have not taken up the mantle. When you take a look at what's installed on my phone versus what's installed on my Android Wear device, the contrast between the amount of apps is just really quite stark. And even the ones that do support a Wear app aren't always all that great. E24 is a great example. Every time you open up the app on Wear, it crashes. But there are a few great experiences on Wear as well. Lyft is one of them. I love being able to just say to my wrist, hey, call me a car. And it goes straight to Lyft, I get a map, and I can call the car all from my wrist without doing anything else. Please don't shame me. I also have the Domino's app installed because it makes it really easy to buy a pizza and track it. And you can do that entire process all from your wrist. Unfortunately, Wear also hasn't changed all that much. We're still in the same spot that we were in two years ago, and innovation hasn't really happened on the platform. Don't get me wrong though, the problems are not only on the developer's side. Hardware manufacturers also haven't really gone to any great lengths to make devices that are water resistant. So while we now have great devices like the S7 and S7 Edge that are totally fine submerged in water, we still don't have any wear devices that can support even a pool or a trip to the beach. So all of those really great useful situations that we might want to use wear in, our devices can't really handle a lot of them. Like I said though, Wear has been delightful for at-a-glance information, and even more than that, it's been delightful for someone like me who has a home that is all in the Android ecosystem. My wife wears a Moto 360, and I'm wearing this watch, and we use Together to keep in touch throughout the day. Together, we'll use your maps and location information on your device to let your partner know what you're up to, whether you're riding a bike, if you're currently in transit in a car, or if you just wanna let them know how you're feeling with an emoji or a little drawing. The nice thing about Together that a lot of people don't realize is that you don't have to be using the Together watch face to take advantage of the functionality. The Together app works perfectly fine even when you're using a separate watch face. All you gotta do is pop the app open and you can send your partner a little message. For that, it's been super fun and totally invaluable. From a relationship perspective, it's really, really nice to just have your partner on your wrist all day. When I got a Wear device, I was really excited to see where the ecosystem went and I'm kind of disappointed to see that most of the apps that you can get for Android Wear are really just watch faces. And that really just comes down to decorations or to some extent functionality like Corona Sunlight, which is the one that I use on the daily. I think the real question here is how much room for innovation is there on a wrist mounted device like this one running Android Wear? Does Android Wear need to change in some sort of a fundamental way to get third party developers on board with the platform? I don't think so. I think that developers just need to start paying more attention to the, the utility of such a device. Because for me, what I want to see is move towards is more reliance on a wearable and less reliance on our phone. Because for me, using a wearable means I spend less time on my phone. Yes, this screen might not be big enough for things like emails and things of that nature, but in my mind, I kind of hope we're moving towards using a wearable for our kind of day-to-day -day stuff that we need to get done right there and then and now, 
and using something larger than even a phablet, closer to an actual tablet for things that are a little bit deeper like email and writing blog posts. Then again, that might be kind of an outdated vision for the future. So if you think so, make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Here's my main takeaway. Android Wear has been around for two years. In two more years, I wanna see more change than I've seen in Android Wear over the last two. And that means Google really making sure to re-up their commitment to the platform and making sure that third-party developers have all the tools that they need to make the best apps possible for our wrist-mounted devices. Let me know what you guys think about Android Wear. Are you still an Android Wear diehard if you bought a device way back in the day? That Moto 360 that I was telling you about that my wife wears is still the original Moto 360 that I bought when Android Wear launched. So if you're a little disappointed, I feel your pain, but I still wear it every single day. Let me know what your device of choice is in the comments. Let me know what you think about this kind of video as well. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be kind to one another, and I'll catch you in the next video.